Yeah, that's um, that's normally the side of the plane that I get into. That's where the captain or the pilot in command normally sits on an aircraft on the left-hand side. I'm not doing that today. Um, we need to come around. Come around this side. Because today I'm not actually the pilot in command, I'm the passenger in command. I'm still the PIC, the PIC, I'm the passenger in command. I need to get hats made with that. Was due to be doing that over water flight today, the one to Flinders Island that I've been planning for a while, but the, well, the weather's just not playing ball. It's um, freezing conditions over the Bass Strait. The freezing level is down to about five and a half thousand feet and the clouds, it's not too bad. It's kind of scattered cloud at the moment, but there's a lot more cloud coming in this afternoon when I'd have to be coming back to Moorabbin. So I just figured as private pilots, you know, we don't need to be anywhere. We don't have to go anywhere. We choose to go places. To be honest, I was choosing to go to Flinders Island because I kind of wanted to ride some quad bikes down there and fly my drone. But if that means I'm going to come back through some icing conditions, I'm just going to not do it and I'm going to fly another day. So instead, what we're doing today, so instead what we're doing today is I'm going to be the passenger. Um, Stephen from Blue Demon's actually flying the aircraft. He's going to jump in in a second. We just want to test a couple of things in the aircraft. There's a few things that I just wanted to have a quick look at and have someone else flying whilst I'm monitoring that. So I figured, why don't I go along as a passenger whilst the guys from engineering are testing the aircraft? Also means I can focus on filming. Because despite the fact there's a lot of low cloud and potentially some icing scenarios over the Bass Strait, it's actually a really, really nice day here in Moorabbin. Look, look at that sun. Julian, remember this cloud's to the south, it's about 500 feet, so it won't be suitable for very far flight. If you'd like, you can depart of one seven left out to the east and then make a right turn when you're south, when you clear the cloud. Eight hundred kilo joint, remember we'll do that. We'll take one seven left. Possible. Kilo joint, remember taxi holding point goal, frontway one seven left. Taxi holding point goal, one seven left. Kilo joint, remember. Yeah, okay, this is editing Steph from the future. I just wanted to pick up on one point on something that I said at the beginning of that video, which I, I just don't think made any sense. And I need, I need the context to be clear here. So when I said I was supposed to be flying to Flinders Island today 
but the weather didn't look very good. And then I proceeded to go flying and the weather actually outside looked quite nice. And in terms of instrument flying especially, it kind of looked like the perfect IFR day. Well, I wanted to explain the reasoning behind that just to kind of help you guys understand exact, exactly why I made that decision. It's all to do with the freezing levels over the Bass Strait. Now here's the thing, the cloud base was probably at about 3,000 feet over the Bass Strait from what I saw on the area forecasts. The freezing level was five and a half thousand feet. So to be honest, I could have either been in cloud between 3,000 and five and a half thousand, or I could have gone underneath the cloud if I wanted to stay below it. Or indeed that cloud wasn't actually very thick, so I could have flown through it and then flown over the top of it and then descended through the cloud to get to Flinders Island in the end. All of those are viable options. But here's the thing, and I mentioned this before, as a private pilot, the only reason why I fly is because I want to go somewhere and do something, or I just want to fly for fun, or I want to just go and explore somewhere. At the end of the day, it's because I want to do something. It's not because I need to do something. And this for me is the beauty of being a private pilot, right? Because then you can make decisions when you want to fly based purely on safety. Nothing to do with schedules or timings or because you have to or you think you need to or someone's going to think you're a wuss because you're pulling out because the weather looks a little bit iffy. Forget all that and make a decision based on safety first and then everything else should follow after that. And that, to be honest, is the reason why I didn't do the flight today. You know, why mess about with cloud and freezing levels when you're over water and you're at least 20 minutes gliding distance from the nearest bit of land? Right, just before I go, quickly, I need your help with something. I'm actually thinking of creating a new segment on this channel where I'm looking to start to give instructional content and advice to people who are learning how to fly, student pilots, for example, maybe someone who's got their private pilot's license, or just people who've got an interest in the world of aviation and would like to know how something works. Now, of course, the instructional content won't come from me. I actually have an opportunity to work with a group of flying instructors to produce a series of instructional videos, which I'm gonna release on this channel. But my question is, and this is where I need your help, let me know in the comments below, if I was to start producing instructional videos on this channel, what kind of topics would you like me to cover? Are you interested in VFR flying or maybe IFR flying and techniques? Maybe you've got some engineering questions or some basic handling. Um, why does an aircraft store? How does lift work? We can go basic, uh, we can go quite in depth and we can go right through things like instrument flying, automation and procedures in the Cirrus specifically, if that's of interest to you as well. I'll leave a question of the day down below. Like I say, let me know. I would really appreciate the feedback and it's gonna be a really new, exciting segment on the channel, I hope. I hope you'll enjoy it.